Hi everybody, and welcome back to another Sheer Smokes, and you join me on the site of what was Salzgarth Mine. Uh, before I go into a little bit more detail in the history of the mine, uh, just a quick thank you to everybody for their kind comments on my last video on the visit to Blackness Castle. It was uh, really a great morning out, and um, for my first time visiting the castle, uh, I wasn't disappointed. It was um, just an amazing structure to start with and the location uh, was just uh, yeah just up, just awesome so uh, we'll definitely be visiting back in the summer I think um, yeah definitely worth uh, a second visit yeah I meant to mention in the video that uh, the fortress of Blackness Castle withstood uh, many a siege uh, and it wasn't until 1650 that uh, Oliver Cromwell was the one and only person to be able to uh, take over the castle uh, mainly due to his uh, new model army and of course their uh, modern form of warfare and weaponry and uh, the fortress um, took on some heavy bombardment from the, the heavy guns um, a lot of which you can still see in the stonework and uh, they had no choice but to surrender um, but uh, nonetheless a very uh, impressive um, fortress but we come back to slightly more modern times, and as I said, I'm here at uh, Salzgarth Mine, or the site thereof. So, Salzgarth Mine, I've got the trusty journal again, uh, just to keep me right. Uh, Salzgarth Mine, they uh, started sinking the mines in 1965, uh, and then the site went into full production in 1969, and they uh, continued right through until it closed in 1990. Um, the uh, average workforce um, at full peak was over a thousand men and uh, around about 1975 it was actually holding the British and European records for um, output um, per coalface. There was actually two mines in this area. Um, now as you'll have seen from the video um, at the beginning um, there's not much left off the uh, off the site, um, there's a few uh, bits of road that are still intact, uh, but no structures as such. Uh, I did find some interesting um, objects lying about, whether they're connected to the mine or not. Uh, it's hard to say, but um, I'm definitely in the right place using the coordinates I found online, and that uh, puts me slap bang in the middle of the of the site. I did find an online aerial picture, and I'll just pop that in just to give you an idea of. Um, how big this area was. So the reason for the Salgers mine was it actually powered the uh, Long Annet power station and um, interestingly there was an underground tunnel um, and it said it contained the world, world's longest conveyor belt and that's how they got the coal down to uh, the power station and um, the tunnel was 8.85 kilometres in length and uh, as I said at that time it was, uh, it was a world record. So yeah, so there was um, ideas of maybe connecting this mine at Salzgarth to the mine in Dollar, uh, which is only about five, six miles away, uh, maybe a bit slightly more, because uh, where we are, we're right on the border of the two counties of Clipmanishire, where I come from, which is to the right, which is to the right, and the county of Fife, which is to the left, uh, my gran and Grandad both hailed from um, the Fife region and uh, that's where he started his mining career and uh, he finished at Dollar uh, Mine. Yeah, so a nice little um, connection there and talking of which I brought along to show you my Grandad's pit helmet and um, I'll put a little close up picture in the video uh, just to show you he's got his initials inside JM for John Moody. It's been in my collection since I was a, a young boy and uh, often used to run about 
wearing it to my to my grand's delight. Uh, one of the other treasures I have from my granddad's coal mining days is uh, Davy lamp, and um, my grand had quite a good collection of these. And uh, these are now uh, well, the rest of the collection is now with a, a coal mine museum. So it's uh, it's great to know that they're being looked after and uh, enjoyed by uh, well, hopefully enjoyed by generations of coal miners that um, have an interest in that um, industry. So, um, as you saw at the top of the video, um, there's not much really to see. Uh, nature's kind of reclaimed most of the land, and um, there's no structures left as such. Um, as I said, there's a few little bits and bobs lying about, which I've taken some s pictures of, and I'll pop them in um, just to show you uh, at the end of the video, um, just out of interest. Whether connected to the mine or not, um, I'm not really knowledgeable enough to say, but um, of some interest anyway, and uh, I would hedge my bets that there is uh, a connection, I would think. Uh, but it's quite a nice little ramble, it's, it's a huge site, and, uh, as you'll have seen from that aerial uh, picture. And um, as I say, a lot of it is overgrown, so um, it takes a bit of effort to do the full loop, but uh, yeah, it was worth walking around the, the site. And uh, there's a little bit of uh, drizzle coming on now, but um, it's still quite mild, so it's nice to enjoy uh, a little pipe here. And of course, got my coffee to keep me keep me warm. Cheers. And so to the pipe. So my pipe for today is the real briar. It's a nice size, and uh, it smokes really well. And uh, in the bowl, because we're just kind of hitting mid morning almost. Um, I've gone for the Peter Stockaby Morning Blend, and uh, yeah, that's a nice blend. It's a uh, really tasty, uh, tasty smoke. So yes, yeah, so I might have to pop up the umbrella for the rest of my uh, walk back to the car. Um, it's actually a, a really well situated. Uh, site for a mine as you'd imagine there's a main road um about a few hundred yards away from here plus cadger's burn runs right through us as well so um yeah unfortunately there's no there's no signs of where the the, the drop mines would have been um i think they were left open for ventilation reasons uh, for a few years and then finally closed over and uh, as for the tunnel and um, that's obviously been shut down. I'm not sure if it's been filled or what they've done with that, but um, couldn't find any information on that one. Um, but uh, yeah, a nice slice of uh, industrial local history. Um, I'm not sure if there's plans to develop this site or not. Um, it's just kind of been left. Um, I couldn't find any information online about that, so uh, I shall just uh, keep my ears open and I can update you if I hear of any developments. Um, but as it is, it's quite a nice uh, bit of nature, lots of uh, birds nesting around, so um, yeah, it'd be nice if it was uh, kept as is, but we shall uh, wait and see. So on that note, um, I'm going to head back round and take a slow walk back to the car, uh, and then home and get organised for work. So, uh, as again, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. I uh, hope you found it of some interest. And until the next video, as always, my name's Shearer. Enjoy your smokes. <laughs>